I will be completing a summary of Catherine Kolkaba's comfort theory with a practice scenario. Catherine Kolkaba developed the contemporary comfort theory in 1994 in order to have a framework to meet patient-specific health needs to provide comfort. The theory acts as a guide for nurses to use in practice to provide patients with relief, ease, and transcendence. These measures of providing comfort are complete within four contexts, physical, psycho-spiritual, environmental, and sociocultural. Relief is having a need met. Ease is state of calm and contentment. Transcendence is rising above challenges and being accepting. The physical context is bodily sensations and immune function. Psycho-spiritual is internal awareness of self. Environmental is effect of external background on experiences. And psycho-sociocultural is relationship and tradition fulfillment. Oops. The practice scenario is the nurse is admitting a 65-year-old male who presents with stroke symptoms. Right-sided weakness and dysphagia are present. He requires two people to pivot from bed to chair, and he requires enteric feeds via the NG tube, all of which the patient consents to. The patient lives on a farm with his wife. The patient says, I am a farmer and need to get home to tend to the cattle. He is very stressed. The nurse says, I am sorry you are experiencing this. Do you have any neighbors or anyone in the farming community that could assist you on the farm until arrangements are made? He answers saying, I can ask my neighbor who also runs a farm. He has three sons who also work on their farm. She answers, I'm glad you have neighbors who can help you. It sounds like you are having, you have a great support system at home. The social worker will visit you daily and help you with decisions at home. While you are in hospital, the team will be working with you to assess your strengths and dysphagia progression. The patient has been admitted for a few hours now and requires the use of the restroom. He rings his bell and all of his blankets, NG tube, and call bell are twisted. The TV remote also fell and he cannot reach it. He is angry. He says, nurse, look at the mess I am in. All I have to do is go to the bathroom and I can't even get out of bed. The nurse says, I am sorry you are in this situation, and I understand that it is very frustrating. Instead of using the call bell with the long cord, why don't we disconnect that and use the call bell that is built into the bed? Next, let's move your table to your left side so you can keep your TV remote on the table and have less chance of losing it. The patient replies, thank you, nurse. These interventions relieve my frustration, and with these changes, I am much happier. Psycho-spiritual. The patient pivots with two people and is shocked by the difficulty he has when pivoting with his left strong leg. This causes the patient to cry. I understand this is a scary situation and everything is very new for you right now, the nurse says. Why don't I go get a physiotherapist to go over some pivoting techniques? I believe once we work with physiotherapy, you will have more confidence in getting in and out of bed. The patient works with physio and answers. I am so grateful for everyone's support here at the hospital. I am no longer scared of transferring. The patient is choking on secretions when lying flat. The nurse suctions his mouth and the coughing subsides. The nurse shows the patient how to suction the secretions out of his mouth by himself in the future. She also educates him on not laying flat when his feeds are running. The patient is now independent with the suction and aspiration risk is resolved. Lunch with Catherine Kolkaba. Questions about the comfort theory. I am sitting at the table and she is talking to me through Skype. So we were having a COVID lunch. I'm having difficulty helping the farmer experience transcendence in the sociocultural context. It turns out he will require a wheelchair going forward. His NG tube has been removed and he no longer experiences dysphagia. Although he has gratitude that he can eat again, his major role in his life is to tend for his, to his farm. What should I do to support him? Another question I have about the comfort theory overall is, can the patient experience overall comfort if not all contexts of comfort are fulfilled? What if the farmer sells his farm and is still grieving over his lost role years later? 
Would you say sociocultural context of comfort is the most challenging context to fulfill? Catherine answers and says, you brought up some great points today. I am glad this comfort theory has allowed you to think outside of the box of <clears throat> the patient's physical well-being and also in the social. 